Hello, Steve Porter here from Finland. And so thankful that um, here in this beautiful country, God has been moving by his spirit. It's been an incredible journey. Diane and I have just loved uh, spending time here. We've been here about two weeks now and uh, the time is going by so fast. We'll be here another uh, week to week and a half and then we go to Northern Sweden and we'll be there for a little while. Then we head down to Stockholm, Sweden and, uh, and then end our trip in Copenhagen, Denmark. And we're so appreciative of the people that we have been meeting, the meetings that we've been in, and we so covet your prayers. I could literally feel the prayers of the saints behind me. I can feel it like a wind blowing. So don't think that your prayers don't matter. Your prayers count. I know that you're praying, and, uh, and I know that because of your prayers, that's why the Holy Spirit has been moving in such a powerful way in the meeting. So thank you for your prayers. But I just wanted to share just a couple thoughts with you real quick, and uh, this won't be a very long video, but I just had something that was on my heart that, that came to me, and I'd like to share it with you. And it's found out of the book of Song of Solomon, and it's a golden nugget found in the Song of Solomon. And you know that I love the book of Song of Solomon, if you follow our ministry. But in chapter two of the Song of Solomon, verse number four, and it says, he brought me to the banqueting house and his banner over me was love. He brought me to the banqueting house and his banner over me is love. He brought me. Did you know that God is searching for those that have a love and a desperation for him? There's a thirst in their souls and he is searching out these individuals that are lovesick for him and he is bringing them into a special relationship and he is placing them in his banqueting house where his banner over them is love. In other words, he's taking them from the place that is familiar to them to a greater level of intimacy where he begins to disclose himself and reveal his presence in a very strong and powerful way. And you receive an expression of that love. How many people want the love of God to flow over them in a fresh new way? You want a fresh expression of the Father's love in your heart. And the Lord says over you that if you love me, I will love you. If you pursue me, I will pursue you. If you run after me, I will run after you. You see, there's something special about when man begins to take an initiative and they begin to run after God. They get tired of status quo religion and they say, I'm going into the greater depths of his presence. I want to go into the deeper places of his presence. I want to go not knee deep, not waist deep. I want to go over my head in the presence of the Lord. I want God to bring me to a special place where I've never been before. So Lord, place a hunger in my heart that I may attract your individual attention, that you may bring me into the banqueting house where I will feast on your love, where I will feast on your presence, where I will feast on your goodness, where I will feast on your love. And the Father says over you right now, if you will begin to pursue me, if you will say to me, I desire you, God, that's all I need to hear. I will begin to woo you. I'll take you by the hand and bring you into the banqueting house where my banner over you is love. I'm going to reveal a special place of my heart to you. I'm going to reveal the deep secrets of my heart. And there's going to be a banner of love that's written over you. Why is there a banner of love? Because you have become lovesick for God. Look down just a couple scriptures. In fact, in verse number five, it says, Comfort me with apples, for I am sick of love. I am sick of love. It, what it was saying is, I am lovesick. I believe that God is bringing, 
his bride into a special place where they are receiving a fresh love for God and they are becoming lovesick for the king. They are becoming lovesick for Jesus. Why? Because he is altogether lovely. His eyes that blaze like fire is looking in your direction. And he's saying, I'm looking for someone that wants to walk outside of a normal relationship with me. And they want to go into the depths of my presence. I'm looking for someone who is lovesick for me. Oh, I want to be lovesick for God. I want to go beyond, in fact, the apples. I want to go beyond the blessings of God, and I want to go into a special corporate relationship with the Lord where we, as the bride of Christ, enter into a relationship that's not based on the blessings of God, but going after the blessor himself. Not just the gifts, but going after the giver of the gifts. And I believe that this Shulamite right here, she was beginning to see that she was lovesick and she wanted to have apples. She wanted the blessings, but yet God was bringing her on this very special journey where it wasn't gonna just be his apples anymore, the blessings that satisfied the inner longings of her heart, but she was being brought into the very inner chambers of the king where he alone could satisfy her. And you may be at that place right now. You've been asking the Lord. Your devotional time with God has been asking God for things. Lord, I need this. Lord, I need that. I need this. But you have this inner longing. You want something more. And you know what it is? It's more than just his hands. You want to go into his arms. You want to go into daddy's heart. You want to be like John the Beloved that would lay your ear upon his heart and you would hear his very heartbeat. You are sick with love. You are lovesick for God. And therefore, you are attracting the very attention of God. And he's bringing you into the banqueting house where his banner over you is love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's a scripture. I absolutely love this scripture. I feel like it's on fire. It's an on fire scripture verse. It's found in Luke chapter two, verse number 37. And it's speaking of the prophet Anna. And it's said in verse number 37 of chapter two, she was now 84 years old. She never left the temple, but stayed there day and night night, worshiping God with fasting and prayer. She was 84 years old and she never left the temple. She stayed there day and night, fasting and praying to the Lord. The prophet Anna was lovesick. The only thing that would cause someone to stay in the temple day and night in fasting and in prayer was that they were totally lovesick for God. They wanted to be in his banqueting house. They wanted to receive his love, but they also wanted to give him love. And that is a great mystery to me, that I be a man, I, being a natural man, can bring comfort to the heart of God, that I can love him and touch his heart. And God is looking for a bride that would pursue him, that would take action, not just giving him lip service or saying, oh God, I love you, I love you, Jesus, but literally they become lovesick for God and they're like the prophet Anna. They wanna be in his presence day and night in fasting and in prayer. I've begun to ask the Lord. I said, Lord, whatever that was inside of the prophet Anna, Lord, place that inside me. Lord, whatever caused Anna to want to be in your temple day and night, Lord, I ask you that you would place that love inside of me. Place that love on the inside of me. Let me burn with the fire of divine love. 
Let me have a romance for you. May you be the first thought that I think about when I wake up. May you be the last thought that I think about before I go to sleep. May I take little breaks during the day just to talk to you. May I rest and soak in your presence, O oh God. Father, may I pursue you and run after you, Lord. May I not become content, Lord. Father, I want you to take me by the hand and lead me into your banqueting house where your banner over me is love because I've become lovesick for the king. Oh, I don't want just a little touch. I don't want a little dab that will do me. Lord, I want to go over my head into the depths of your presence, into the depths of your love. God, you must place that love on the inside of me, that same love that pursued you, like through the prophet Anna. Lord, give me that on fire love for you, that I would dwell in your temple day and night and night and day and day and night and night and day and day and night and night and day and day and night and night and day, worshiping the King, worshiping the King, worshiping the Lord because I love him so much tears coming down my face because I love him so much. Father, I want that kind of relationship with you. Make me sick of love. Make me love sick for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, make us love sick for you. Make us love sick for you, Jesus. We want to be like the prophet Anna, day and night dwelling in your presence going into the depths of your presence. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you would give me a fresh baptism of your love. Take me by the hand and lead me into the banqueting house. And Lord, let me go beyond your hands and into your arms. Let me go beyond the blessing and to the blesser, beyond the gifts and to the giver of the gifts. Father, I will not stop until I have you. I must have your heart. Lord, make me love sick for you. Whatever that was in the heart of the prophet Anna, place it in us. Place it in us. And Father, I pray that my precious friend that's watching, that they would feel a fresh baptism of the love of God begin to touch them even now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Baptize them afresh and new with the love of God. May they pursue you, Lord, like they've never pursued you before. Lord, a fresh baptism of love is coming to your bride once again. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I feel fired up. <laughs> I feel so excited. We've been just been preaching in all these meetings over here in Scandinavia, and I could just feel a fire burning. And I'm just praying that God would continue to move in our journey, the different places that we go. And I'm praying as well that God would meet you where you're at, whatever country that you're watching in, that God would come and bring a fresh baptism of his love to you. And we send our love to you as well. We send our prayers to you, our intercession to you. And I thank you so much for watching. Would you do me a favor? Would you share this video? Please share the video. We would so covet uh, you just sharing the video so somebody else may discover a greater revelation of the love of God. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for your financial support. Uh, we need your financial support as we travel throughout Europe. We appreciate you remembering uh, financial support. And most of all, remember us in intercession and prayer because we need your prayers. We realize that we are nothing without the Lord. We need the goodness of God. We need the manifest presence to invade every meeting, touching lives like only he can. May God receive all the glory. We love you so much. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.